Hi, I'm Eric Trinidad, and we're here at the Dead Sea in Israel, where we're going to answer the question that we've all been wondering since biblical times. Will a 14-pound bowling ball float in the Dead Sea? Do you think a 14-pound bowling ball will float in the Dead Sea? Um, I'm going to say no. The Dead Sea has attracted visitors for thousands of years, and today it's a popular destination for tourists who come to cover themselves in therapeutic, mineral-rich mud. They also come for the novelty of floating in the water, because there's so much salt in it that many things become unusually buoyant. Tell me, do you think a 14-pound bowling ball will float in the Dead Sea? Um, yeah, I think it's possible. I'm not really sure. I don't know. It could go either way. About 31% of Dead Sea water is comprised of natural salt. This makes the Dead Sea denser than ordinary water by about 17 to 24 percent, depending on the data you find on the internet. This means that a 14-pound bowling ball could float in the Dead Sea, but not in a tub full of bath water, or at the beaches of Israel along the Mediterranean, or in a swimming pool outside the old city of Jerusalem. Or even in the Sea of Galilee, where Christians believe Jesus walked on water. Has anyone ever tried to do this before? Not as far as I know. Never with a bowling ball. 